Hi guys, welcome to Funner It's Basil here and we are at Nokia HQ with an N9. Taking a quick look at this, we have some help Sorry. talking us through it. If you'd be able to go for it when you're ready. Yeah, sure. So you're here, we can see we've got the N9. We've got the back, the kind of unibody polycarbonate shell for it there. We've got the nice 8 megapixel camera on the back. Nice LED flash. You've got the speakers here at the bottom. You can see it's one piece there, unibody. There's really nice technology on the screen there, so you can actually see with most phones you have, I guess, an air gap between the, the where the screen is and the glass. But here we've got this new technology that's actually zero gap, which gives you this really kind of nice, unique look and feel on it. Which, when I move through to the next screen, you'll really get an idea of that. So here we are at the use the tablet's background. Yeah. yeah. So here we are on this on the main screen. If I double tap, it takes you through to this screen here. From there, I'm, you know, if I were to get an email notification or whatever, uh, it would appear there on that screen and I could just swipe away. So to open up into the main phone from here, simply swipe. And then you have the uh, the main app screen. You can kind of see you've got the nice, really nice viewing. The nice, yeah, the nice display, very crisp and clear. So it's a concave, uh, sorry, convex display. Yeah, it's a concave display, so it really helps with the swipe. So when you go over from side to side, it really gives you the, it really works with the hand to make that kind of transition. Go smoothly. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Okay. Um, so I guess first of all we can kick off very simply with the phone. So you know, making a call, whatever it would be. Perfect. Simply making a call. Obviously, if you had any contact, you would just click there, and you can add a contact. So we won't do that on this case. Slide out. We don't want that anymore. Go slide to the left. To get rid yeah. Of this slide. Yeah. Right. And then you can move both. When you're in this point, you can slide both ways. But you know, you just slide. It's very natural. It's like you just you don't want to in your life you fling it away yeah, <laughs> so go into the web process. so we go here so we go to front arena open up front arena there looking okay. very nice if we click on this top corner let right, so the phone page the, the web page finish first yes. there we go then we can add this we can open the window but you share this page you can subscribe to the feed so that it will appear in your in your feeds folder or we can just add this to our apps so we press add to apps you can see there it has been caught in front of us add we swipe and go back to our main screen there it is and yeah and you know it's nice if we if we like that and we think it's one of our favourites we send it up to the top perfect and there it sits so yeah and it'll just sit there so that's, that's one of the nice features uh, with the web with the messaging uh, comes throughout message very quick and simple so in landscape the keyboard how's that look there you go but you know I think the whole design of this phone is all about one hand usage so if I write something like to be press hello I press backwards and swipe to copy press right that way and paste perfect copy paste really nice intuitive really really simple and back yeah your clock so you can see you've got a nice nice simple clock very readable I'm going to set an alarm sit the swirl that around press save so you go you got yourself cool so you really worked on getting the UI completely redesigned from the ground up yeah exactly so again with the camera you can see here so we've got the camera open you can see that if I was to look at the screen if I click over that laptop it would switch the focus over there to that side of the screen Perfect. just to the so code touch the focus yeah and then and then it's got it beautiful as far as additional options yeah go. so you press on the side there you go very nice got all your options then you can choose everything there from the from the camera settings really to nice the black may not be able to tell, but yeah. it's really taking advantage of the AMOLED screen. The um, blacks are just looking really nice. Well, you can see there you've got your scenes. And we'll swipe that away, so I've got rid of that. Um, we go to the music. So we can sort of see you've got your list of artists there. Let's say we click on Dirty Ghost, whoever they may be. It will start bringing you some recommendations. Okay. Click on the artist. And you've got the music there. And as you mentioned, it's one handed. If that's the intention, so you can't view this in portrait. I'm sorry, in landscape mode. No, it's locked to portrait. So then I play, we'll start there. Swipe them, well, we don't want those anymore, so we'll get rid of that. Go to videos, you see here, we'll try this Dolby Landscapes. You see the, so the video player. One nice little feature, yeah. you slide it up slightly, you can 
if I swipe nice. it, have you got a spec sheet on get rid of it, so and I go the efficiency and, of yeah. the OS. Yeah, exactly. And you think how many apps have you got running there? There's probably 20 nearly. Yeah, absolutely. It doesn't even affect it. And then get back to that. Press play, and we're back there. Playing. So it'll only stop it when you swipe it out. Yeah, and swipe it out, and it's gone again. Um, next step, so we go on to the maps. You can see here this is OV Maps running, yeah. This is yeah, this is Nokia's map with turn system. by turn. Yeah, it's got the full full lines, so we can see we can have public transport, um, satellite. You can add terrain, so we can have a three D mode, night mode. There, we go back. Um, Nearby locations. If we go into the settings here, you can see you've got a few different things like categories of different elements that you can add each other. Facilities. So it's a full functioning GPS. Yeah, it basically is. Yeah. Awesome. So press here, go back. That's always been said to be kind of one of Nokia's real key strengths. Um, is the same kind of functionality going to be rolling across um, to all the Nokia map products? Yeah. Or can you not really say now? I, I'm not the best person in place to answer that question, to be honest with you. But I could say, you know, as you know, maps is a big thing for Nokia. So yeah. I'll just go back into maps again. Absolutely. Go back here. <laughs> no, we just found some Sims, honestly. Cool, so you've even got. Um, yeah, so you've got. And then you can share there and it will bring up. Sure, you did. Top row. Text message, mail it, new account, and if I press new account, I could then put that through Facebook or Matt. Uh, yeah, yeah, whatever, you, whatever you fancied for Square. So I guess we go to Drive, um, you can see destination, so we'll do. Video resolution. 720p at 30 frames per second. Whatever you want to do. Yeah. How does it output it? There you go. Uh, <laughs> the so it's go and search. Comes up straight away. Tells you the distance. Drive two and then drive two. It's gonna find your route. Find your route. Perfect. And that's all happening really, really quickly. Yeah. So you can kind of see that. We are connected with Wi Fi. But but it actually thought, yeah, it, we connected, we connected with Wi Fi there, so we thought we were in the other side. Yeah. So I, will, I maybe don't. That's cool. Um, could we have a look at the Facebook app? Or is that. We're not, I'm not going to be able to log into that, unfortunately, but I can show you here how easy it is to go into your account. So you've just got add account, you press account, press add account. But it's not an automatic. No, no, no. There we go. And then you can see all the different ones. So mail for exchange, Skype, you can chat, Google the chat, Facebook, again you can chat through that, Twitter. So out of the box you've got access to all these. Yeah, you can, Perfect. Yeah, you can do them all there. It's very nice. Um, things like the calculator, just, you know, I know it's a simple thing but it's actually very nice, simple. Yeah, absolutely. For, I mean the whole OS definitely looks very unified, very cohesive. Yeah, exactly. Um, and coupled with the great hardware, real, real nice look and feel combined. Yeah, so we'll just see, you've got AccuWeather here. We'll just fire it up. Do a live call. Things we're in Helsinki because we're using the Wi-Fi wi connection. We're not connected through yeah. the. Uh, I got that when that's <laughs> one that went up as a finish. <laughs> but you can kind of see there. So you know, it's nice and rich, nice little feel for it. Well, it's sunny in Helsinki. Yeah, <laughs> as long as it's sunny in Helsinki. Obviously, you've got your basics. We'll go to Angry Birds. Everybody likes Angry Birds. Everyone likes Angry Birds. <laughs> And yeah. you can kind of see it's all pretty it's all pretty fast yeah absolutely I mean oh, and I might even got enough to um, the entire way we've had this demo running through I mean you can swipe to the multitasking apps yeah um, we've got all these multitasking and you can see there hasn't been any slowdown so that speaks really well for the potential of the device yeah hundred percent you can see that there's certainly no lag. I believe they've had a hundred apps working simultaneously it actually hasn't even made a difference in performance of the device so um, as far as kind of your mail clients go and everything like that that's all um, yeah so this device what we'll do we'll get you another device and you can see the feed so what happens it comes up with a feed there so you can see the temperature there okay. you're pressing that it'll take to the app if I got a text message from this phone um, it would come up and it would say text message there perfect awesome well, I think that's been a pretty comprehensive coverage thank you very much